You asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future, not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted, striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart, Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed, he challenged it, so must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the Jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. Cheap jewels and tarnished coins. The spoils of a rogue's life. I told Nihal this would be impossible to sell when she stole it. But she could not resist. Kick up some sand, Basim. Wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so. It takes but a few simple tools to build the greatest of mosques. I hope you continue to share your wisdom, Father. Wherever you are. You said we have a... The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep their wish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? These shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. 
I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. contract. I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But, I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. Ah, perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Better leave before they notice. Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. Hmm. There. The boisterous one. He must have something of value. Welcome, Vesim. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that stall, she's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anvar. Is that jealousy I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. It's that him. Well met. They are all looking spry. I wonder what tales we will hear today. Tall ones, most certainly. Basim, come here, come here. Fahmi. Basim. The Khalifa has arrived with his court. Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Muttawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. 
I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you, and maybe more someday. Oh, Basim. I am serious. She will keep you out of trouble. You could use that. See you, Fahmi. Feel anything good today? I mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better, something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there. Uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Huh. Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I have been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zahida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I saw them with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and spears? Of course they did. They are soldiers. I'd like to steal a sword or a head. Muti'a, where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me, called me a harebrained miscreant, all because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think you will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia, you do not know him as well as I. So I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough, but he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. I'd like to steal a sword or a hand. You are on your own, Basim. Did they say anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, anyone. Anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. 
In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract, so I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. Remember to pick up your feet, will you? What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates. One chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain, last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. If I am seen, I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards. Locked. A minor delay. be what I'm looking for. I wonder what secrets this ledger holds. Maybe I can get the old Grouser to wish to squeeze a hint out of our contact. Still in one piece, I see. It was all too easy. How the stench of pride seeps from your pores. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Pay the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died on this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take half this thief with that insult. Ah. Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. 
You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <laughs> Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <coughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Hmm... Ah, oh, yes! A black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya, Jasib. <laughs> what are you doing? They want that chest and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. You do not have to get involved, Nihal. I know your feelings on this. It is utterly foolish. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with and nag you until you decide to abandon the idea of stealing a chest from the Khalifa's winter palace. When you say it like that, it only excites me further. Are we going or not? Lead the way. This is a mad plan, Basin. Even if you were to succeed and they welcome you into their ranks, what then? Will you forget about us? Of course not. Nihal, their interests are our interests. You, me, and every other street dweller who has been cast aside. Living off scraps and dirty water. I can be an instrument that sees us out of that life. That sees that Jasip can use his talents to be a real craftsman. That sees that good men are not cast aside as my father was. And no children left wondering what tomorrow will bring. I hear what you are saying, Basim. But you paint a portrait of a world that cannot exist. That is where we disagree. There it is, the Winter Palace. Come, this way. Right behind you. Here. <clears throat> Let us wait for nightfall. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? 
I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! It is dark enough. Come. Nihal! Fastening yourself to my tail, Basim? Very sensible. I know how you hate to be alone. I see some guards just that way. Letters with lime sauce, pomegranates, and lemon. Oh, I can taste it now. Keep your mouth shut. You only invite trouble to like that. Why dress that way is what I'm asking. It's not festival time. We are here to meet the Khalifa of our chest. Good. This door may lead us inside. Not without a key, it won't. Mm. Have a look around. Have a short nap, but not too short. Any luck finding a key? <sighs> the Khalifa appears unsettled. An unruly son is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his need. I've arrived, Maulay. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside. Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say... Nothing. 
Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. Perish the idea. Now is our chance. Someone is coming. This way. Looks quiet. I never thought I'd set foot in here. Just look at these arches. You could chisel off a piece and sell it for a hoard of gold. You didn't happen to bring a pickaxe, did you? All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry! Basim! Give me that! No! 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 Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please! I... I am sorry! This... This is your fault! Stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! Nihal, wait! Father! Get that boy! Find her. She would have gone back home. Nihal, are you here? Nihal. Because I need you to tell me about this. I do not know what you mean. Tell me what happened. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. 
that object. It did something to me. I was somewhere else, cold and frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Bassam. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer. A young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal, Derwish, they are all in danger. The soldiers are hunting all who look like me. your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us. You killed them! You did it this! It came from over there! I hope I never see you again. Hurry! All of them dead. When it was me they sought to punish. I... I... I cannot be here. I cannot. No escape, you coward! Stay here. Surrender yourself, boy. There is no use in hiding. Mm.
A new day, another test. I should get back. Are you ready? I, uh... I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Like we practiced. Yes, Master. <laughs> yeah. You look yeah. strong today, Basim. Keep training. Steady, Basim. Steady. I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear. Quiet it. Find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. Basim, speak with Fulab and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Have you seen Minter Rehan, Mankan? He is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, Master. Thank you. Good day, Tepid. Hello, Basim. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. Have you seen Fulad? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka lahikan. Ah, what is this in the corner? Here, a small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. 
Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Araka lahekan. That is not it. It is hard to find anything in here. These forces within the Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Raban? I... can only speak of what I know, Your Saldari. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will it last? يمكننا حساب الميل المحوري بدقة أكبر بهذه الطريقة. أرى ذلك الآن. How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, يا سيدي. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentor Ryan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina Tassalam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. <laughs> Rebecca? Tassim, Tassim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it. How does training go, ya Sadiqi? Noor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? <laughs> Well done. Ah, you have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodi. 
Assalamu alaikum, ya sadiqi. Wa alaikum assalam. Did Fulaf send you? No, he did not. And you're not here to help move these rocks? I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stab first. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm in strong. Excellent. Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Good. <clears throat> Excellent. Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> That's the way. Well done! Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done! Hey! Wake up! Bring your head back to right now. Where did that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. 
Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words, and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad. The House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Fulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. These would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Basim? Leave the stories for later. May I speak? You know you can. I overheard Mentor Rayhan speaking to an emissary earlier. Mentor Rayhan asked if we may come under attack for dealing with rebels in Baghdad. Are we safe here at Alamut? I do not know, but I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. How goes the watch? Nothing happening at all on Alamut, and I am so hungry. We did not make it to the main canyon. Excellent. We will start there. Thank you. Come, Noor. Follow me. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before my ceremony. From excitement and a small bit of fear, if I am to be honest. We all fear the unknown. But a greater unknown awaits on the other side of initiation. You speak of the Order. I see them as monsters from a tale, hiding in dark corners down dark alleys. The difference is that the Order is real. What do they want? They want to control Baghdad. They want power. <whistles> this is Mohja. Magnificent. <whistles> Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulad introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Find a place to hide. What is this place? must be nearing the camp. We have the element of surprise. Oh, quickly! I am behind you. We must strike fast. Agreed. Hold you! We must wait for the right moment. Do 
not make a noise. Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course, Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan.
Assalamu alaikum, Basim. I must see Al Hassan. He awaits me. Assalamu alaikum, Rebecca. Wa alaikum assalam, Basim. It was a slow and boring day. Did you not know that I have been called to be initiated? Oh? We are really initiating anyone now. Where is this all coming from? <laughs> oh, calm down. I'm well aware this is the great day of Basim. Wafakaka Allah. How are you feeling on this auspicious day? It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside. But I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Basim. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modern. And thank you, Al Hassan. I wish I could just take a look into the cave. Good day, Tabid. What are you busying yourself with? Have you heard about Iltani? One of the first of our founders, she assassinated Alexander the Great with an ingenious poison. I have attempted to recreate it from historical records. Iltani has taught me that no enemy is untouchable, no matter how powerful they appear. Thank you for this lesson. Wafakakallah. I wish I could just take a look into the cave for a moment. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path. As a novice, and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come. Your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. I cannot imagine you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. 
Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Say your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Mibnus Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. <laughs> Lose your focus again. Take that! I don't remember teaching you that. <laughs> 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 You have trained me well, Roshan. How is that for focus? Sai Juni. Noor! Noor! Do not strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here. Drink. Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once.
Basim, we should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. Now, where does my heart take me? Such familiar sights. Greetings once again, Baghdad. Show me what I have missed. This is a Hidden One's bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Mark the factory's area to the north. What is there? Rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. Maybe oh. Beshi rallying side those men. Side by side, we stand. And should... Are you Beshi? I am with Noor. You knew him, yes? I knew him. Last I saw, he was being chased from the city. Does he live? Barely. But he is safe. Stubborn bastard. What do I call you? Basim. Very well. Basim, have you a blade other than that butter knife you carry? You may fancy yourself something bigger just now. For what? Are you setting off to find Ali? Not quite yet. These here are only half my men. The rest are being held at the Haba, further up the road. There may be too few of us to wage an attack. If you want to save your men, our approach should be a cautious one. I will go, quietly. Have these men lie in wait and escort those we free. Your kind all think the same way. But it is a sound plan. <laughs> and 
سيرك داخل المدينة المدونة to flee. Find Beshi. Lend me your eyes. Thank you. I mean it. the last. I must regroup with them.
You are a hound, Basim. I am only doing my part. Together, we will see the end of what ails this city. Look no further than our ghoul. The man only spoken of and never seen. What can you tell me about him? He takes enemies of the Caliphate and makes them dig in the desert. Prisoners, rebels, laborers. In search of what? I do not know. These men were captured with Ali weeks ago and were destined to perish beneath the sands. Not Ali. He's been taken elsewhere. They marked and separated us. <sighs> Ali was in another group. They wanted to question him about you and your friends. Can you show me this marking? What are you thinking? Ali and Noor got close enough to Al Ghul that he took notice. If we find Ali, he can lead us to Al Ghul. Mm. It is but one path. There may be another. I will go where these men were being sent to dig, and pose as a captive. Are you mad? Only stubborn. Here, take this. What do I do with it? It is a Hidma token. Those who understand its value will do what is in their power to help. I will send these men to regroup at the water mill on the northern outskirts. A rebel stronghold. You are welcome there. Wafakak Allah. Barak Allah My search for Ali continues. The Sharia district may provide some clues as to his whereabouts. Is there anything more you can tell me about the Sharia district? Why would it be of interest to Noor? The people there are in quiet support of the rebels. Common folk, workers, merchants. Come to think of it, Noor did make mention of a new contact. A merchant. It may be this merchant dwells in Ashara, among the dying leather factory workers. I will keep an eye out for a stall. Just a moment. Derwish! Basim? Azizi! I thought you were dead! I feared the same. What are you doing here? You? Your clothes? You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Forgive me, this is all too much. When I did not find you among the dead, I hoped that somehow you had escaped. I spent many nights praying for your life, praying that you found safety. Today, Allah has answered me. I am not worthy of your prayers. What happened that night was not your doing. It was the doing of evil men. You know this. It is why you have chosen to walk this path. It is why I have found my way to Baghdad. Ali ibn Muhammad is brash and sees himself a great hero of prophecy. I loathe the man, but we fight a common enemy. One I must help defeat if my soul is to one day rest. So it is true. You are the rebel merchant who was helping Noor. What has become of him? He clings to life. But he is safe among our people. I am to continue his work and hunt Baghdad's oppressors. Ali was helping Noor get closer to one such man. But as you may know, he has since disappeared. He hasn't disappeared. 
He has been captured, a fate shared by many rebels of late. Do you know where he is being held? He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. It is good to see you again. Just watch yourself. You may be in better hands, but I'm still a nagging old man. I'm Basim. If ever you are feeling a little thievish, come see me. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course. This is the outpost Ali was taken to. scribe ever going to play nicely together? Not likely. The man thinks he can let loose his tongue just because of his rank. If he gets in my way again, I will kill him myself. And who will record the prisoners then? You? <laughs> you cannot fasten your own braces, let alone write. <laughs> if it means we rid ourselves of his blithering, I will happily learn. That one looks like a scrap. Hey, what was that? Wait, what? I will hold on to that for you. A 
list of prisons, all paired with different marks. Pay me no mind. If I were in Ali's position, I would do the same. An army is only as powerful as its weakest soldier. Assalamu alaikum, Basim. Wa alaikum assalam, Ahmed. How was your journey? I am Abu Jafar. Right. My apologies. Is there a problem? Not yet. But we've discovered Ali was brokering a deal with Noor to supply the rebels with resources in exchange for his help. The order is a thorn in his side, yes, but Ali has his sight set on the Khilafah. He will want us to honor this deal. What news do you bring? Our target is Al Ghul. He uses prisoners and laborers to dig around Baghdad. Ali and some of his men were captured and marked. With Beshi's help, I freed them. But Ali had been taken elsewhere for questioning. One of the rebels showed me his mark. If this list of captives is correct, Ali was sent to the Damascus Gate prison. Where are these rebels now? A water mill, on the northern outskirts. I will meet with them. See what more I can learn about this deal. Find Ali. The Damascus Gate prison is the most well-guarded prison in Baghdad. This will prove to be no small challenge, I can tell you. I will scout ahead. Meet me near the prison's front gate. A moment of your time before you go, Basim. I have some useful thoughts to share. You have my ears. First, I have fashioned a board with information brought to us by our spies around the city. Consult it at your leisure. Second, these lands are ripe with materials to improve your weapons. See the blacksmith Jawar nearby. He could help you. And lastly, I am your man for any tool enhancement. Bring me materials and you will see what mastery I can provide. Resourceful as always. My thanks, Abu Jafar. Earth has gone ahead to way into the Damascus Gate prison. I should find him, but before I do, it may serve me well to seek out this blacksmith. Any improvements he could offer would prove useful. Beshi sent me. I am here to help you to safety.
I do not know you. Am I just meant to take you at your word? Do you have a choice? Fine. I know a way out of the city. And remember, I have eyes in the back of my head in case you plan to stab me from behind. Look, a threat to be met. Preferably by you. Go away! Maybe not. <clears throat> what? Time to die! Time to move. <laughs> Murder is done here! Help! Murder is beast! Help! Help! Trouble ahead. Go somewhere else. I'll keep hey, a lookout. Stand you. back. I'm not like any one to drop on you anyway. What the <laughs> hell? vanish. Have you known the rebels long? Long enough to believe in their cause. Look, a threat to be met. Preferably by you. You The course is clear. No, 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 no. We're safe now. You have my thanks and my trust. A fine finish.
There it is, as cruel and unforgiving as I remember. You were once imprisoned here. Oh no, I have never been inside. In fact, I have never stood closer than this very place. It was from here that I would fly my kite high over these prison walls. It had a unique pattern, you see. One I stitched together with my father when I was just a boy. So here I came, day after day, hoping for a gust that would take it high enough so that he would see it and know that I was here. I do not know if he ever did. I know this pain, and I am sorry for yours. I am not. Such pains forge our paths, remind us of who we are, who we can be. Speaking of paths, I see only one, and it is not inviting. No, we need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. Could this help? Where did you get that? Beshi. He told me these tokens command a high value among the common folk. Indeed. You could perhaps bribe the guards to look the other way, or enlist the help of some merchants. I shall see what flavor best suits me. I will take my leave and return to the Bureau. Faqaq Allah. Are you men with Ali? Ha. Huh. We were. But it has been weeks since we have seen him, and the rebels have all but disbanded. That is only temporary. Ali is being held in this prison. Ali? Here? I feared him dead. I will free him, but I need your help to get me inside. And who are you? We want nothing more than to see our leader return, but how do I know you can be trusted? Beshi told me I could exchange this token for your help. What say you? If he gave you this, he must hold you in high regard. We will take care of the guards. Watch us closely, then make your move. Go away. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going
Ali has been taken somewhere beneath the prison, and likely tortured. I need to hurry. did this to you? The... Jailer. Where is he? With another. Beneath us. Death will come for him soon. He may be speaking of Ali. I pray I am not too late. I never thought demons could walk. But that man... Do not lose her. That is what the Jailer wants. He wants to break us. He already has. Hey, you! A word! Huh? Who's up? And you are? Basim, friend to Noor. Let us save the details for another time. We need to get you out of here. Slow yourself, Ya Azizi. We cannot leave, not yet. I need to get into the guards' quarters. What for? It is Al Ghul you are after, is it not? The guards of this prison serve him. They take shifts escorting groups of prisoners to dig sites under the cover of night. If we can find their orders, we may know where Al Ghul is going next. Is that reason enough? Stay close to me, stay low, and do not st Oh, come, Basim. I know how to defend myself. Really? What with? Let's try not to get in each other's way. Tell me, Basim, because I must know. Just how did you make it down here? Easy. I sucked in my belly and wiggled through the cracks. Take it as a compliment. I know your kind like to frolic in the dark, but even the world's greatest thief would steer clear of this. Ali, one day I will tell you all about my past. Then you will understand. 
Such a tease. Not have much time. Break it down, oh. Ali. I heard you. Over there, by the armor. Oh. Ah. Hurry! I have it. Take it to Roshan, my master. She is with your rebels at the Water Mist stronghold. I will slow the guards. Now go. Yeah. No. I change that, I should not regroup with Ali. The risk is too great. Ali. It was to the might of All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <laughs> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. 
I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Alun will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karwan Sarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I am ready. Then walk with me. Come, Basim. Within our reach, Basim. And like those yalla, yalla! Days yet to come, Al Ru's death will be just. This is a man who prays after desperate and a disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue. For Al Ru is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to that very mission. And while al -Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands, so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights under turn. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al Ghul, For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Thank you. 
Come, the stage is yours, Basil. I will be watching. The fire. The fire has caused Rakus an alarm. What is the delay? I am not What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. It is a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure Al Hul out. We will be here until next sundown. Don't. Just don't. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. A crate with spices and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. Those two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Hmm. Punching. This must be the caravan merchant's crate. Do not mind me. Is that what I think it is? Is this your crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very good. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice? Not today, no. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya Sadiqi. Oh, 
own somewhere else. inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Mm. 
clear your mind. Al Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is set out. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe.